All right, my people. So, my El Camino, I just washed and clay barred this door. I mean, this thing is... <laughs> I've been trying to decide whether or not I want to have it painted again, or I'm going to do it, not have it painted. Um, I, I'm trying to figure out if I want to paint this thing again, maybe add some purple graphics somehow. I don't know what I want to do. I want to change it up a little bit. I really want a color shift. I really want a color shift. I've been rocking this uh, lime green for 10 years now, and... It's about ready for a change about that time anyway but um what we're looking to do here is I'm gonna use some of the brand new Mr. Hyde polish I don't have a squirt bottle I have just a little bit left here from a project that I was doing earlier so when you put it on, you just want to make sure your pad's primed like so. Give her a good wipe in and that will basically get it all over the front of the pad. So this door, I'm going to do half the door. And I turn, I use my polishers on high speed for everything. staining in this area that I, if you notice, I focused on. So I'm at, I'm at my house today working on some home stuff. Holy, holy hell. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to grab my light so you guys can see this because it looks awesome. Of course, I knew it was going to. I mean, I, I'm shooting this video because... I knew <laughs> I'd be be able to impress you with the results that uh, the new Mr. Hyde polish gives you. Um, the slickness is stupid. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Um, just looking where I polished versus where I didn't. This thing is hammered. I What I was trying to say at the beginning of the video was basically that um, for 10 years... This car hasn't been neglected per se, but it's been, it was sitting outside for years and years uh, in that 10 year time, mainly <laughs> at my old mechanic shop. It would sit outside and man, um, finally got rid of that douchebag and got a real engine builder to do the thing about three or four years ago. So it's got a brand new engine in it. Uh, when I say brand new, it doesn't have 4,000 miles on it from when I had the engine built in April of 2020. So uh, we're almost to April of 2024. So, I mean, obviously we're in November of 2023, but April of 2024 will be four years ago I had this engine built and I don't even put a thousand miles a year on it. Basically after COVID, well, after our boy Trump got out of office, gas went up 
And because this thing gets seven miles to the gallon, I don't drive it a whole lot. Uh, I have been driving it a little bit more lately, but anyway, so I'm trying to decide what I want to do with the paint. I know that cleaning it up a little bit, doing some touch up here and there will get me by because this isn't all that bad. I had Mako paint this thing 10 years ago. Since then, I have learned how to paint. I've painted several cars, many cars, uh, lots of parts and that kind of thing, which is why I started a custom shop. Uh, Infinity Custom Works is my custom shop. Detailjuice.com is my product line. Gary Dean Detailing is my detailing service. Uh, my wife has a treat business, Bombalicious Treats. Um, anyway, so lots of things. And basically, I'm trying to decide what I want to do with the El Camino. The paint's not bad. It is definitely all scratched up. It is heavily contaminated. I mean, not this door and this fender because I just uh, had to use some heavy-duty clay. Not my, <laughs> not my Japanese clay. I had to use some real heavy-duty auto magic purple this this stuff uh this is heavy duty and this mars the piss out of your paint so if you're looking to remove heavy duty um contamination and do it fast but you're gonna have to polish this stuff is awesome the purple i think it's auto magic um, I don't remember where I got it. I have like 10 bars that I bought years ago that I'm still going through. Um, it works great. If you are going to polish after, no problem. If you're not going to polish, you want to use my Japanese ultra fine clay bar because it's awesome, removes heavy contamination and doesn't mar your paint. So Anyway, give me a second. I'm going to grab a flashlight. I'm going to bring you back and show you the difference between where I polished and where I didn't. Give me a sec. Okay, so I grabbed my uh, my light, my fancy little Astro light. I love this thing. It's awesome. I bought this uh, probably five years ago. I went up to see my buddy Glenn Feinsilver up in... Uh, Delaware and he had one and I just had to have it. I liked it. There's a cheaper version on Amazon I'm not sure what will last this long. I mean, this is five or six years old now um, Works great. I got the uh, Little cover is missing to charge it, but whatever. Anyway, let me show you this paint Okay, so if you'll notice you can really see where the clay bar marred the piss out of this paint. And you can also see, if you notice, right in here, you see that nasty line? So, about six years ago, I had the El Camino parked out in front of my old house. It was about seven years ago now. Somebody egged it like a bunch of freaking retards. Good God, you obviously don't have any respect for anything if you're going to try to damage a classic car, you freaking idiot. Anyway, so there's scratches, there's nastiness. This car was egged on this entire side. You can see how bad the paint looks. It's not clear, it's just gross. It's more of that egging. I can fix all that and it's you can see the old blend. Look at that blend job that they did at Mako. I don't know if you can see it, but. You can see it kind of right in here. It's just a shitty blend job. Anyway, gotta get that straight. So, like I was showing you, you can see how crappy the paint looks, but look, as I keep going, look, it got clearer real fast, didn't it? Look at that. See how nasty that is? A lot of those spots are from the clay bar, but there's also lots of scratches in there. But look, as I scroll right past it, it gets clearer. There's some of that stuff from the egging, the acid from the egg, but look how clear it is. Yes, there's orange peel. I did not cut and buff this. I just don't care, but, um, but my point is you can see how it goes from really nasty to all cleared up other than those really nasty spots from 
the egging. In fact, the Dr. Jekyll, the compound that also fills, um, I should be using that prior to this. Look at the nastiness right there. See that right there? This area right this right in here. You see it? All right, I'm going to attempt I'm going to I'm going to move the light and you can see this area right right there. I'm going to add a little bit of polish to my machine here. Sorry. Um, all right. I got some polish on the machine, just like so. And I'm gonna attempt. I'm gonna attempt. Let's check it out again. Let's check it out again. I'm gonna attempt to fix that spot with the Mr. Hyde. So it's in this area right here. See it? See all that in the light? All right, hang tight. Actually, hold on. Easier. Okay. So the, that area was right here. Okay. There's a lot of defects in that area. All right. Got some polish. Check again. All right, right in, right in that area, right there. and giggles thing just to see what it will remove and show you that it actually has some really good bite all right oh yeah it looks a lot better but those scratches are crazy deep um this is definitely not what you tried to attack with the mr hyde polish you would definitely uh, want to use the Dr. Jekyll prior to the Mr. Hyde. Now, some people are going to ask, well, why do you keep showing videos of Mr. Hyde and not the Dr. Jekyll? Well, first of all, I would I, I feel like it's more significant that you can get more cut out of a finishing polish than a compound that you already know is going to cut. So the Dr. Jekyll cuts incredible it's awesome um it has the same cut if you will uh as the smart cut but it also has the ceramic acrylics resin blend that's in there that cures inside the scratches with exception of crazy deep ones like this but let me show you so this is actually a see where that's at right now it does look better i don't know if you can recall maybe not maybe i don't know if you could see it as well but this area right there see it those scratches are really deep like super deep like something leaned against the car and just rubbed on it i can't get it to focus i'm sorry there you go so anyway for a finishing polish, all in one, if you will, it does a impeccable job making things look amazing compared to where I didn't polish. It does not look amazing. See how clear it is over here? All right, so anyway, so that's the Mr. Hyde polish and it works awesome. 
It is a fantastic all-in-one polish. If you just needed an all-in-one polish that has some good bite, but definitely protects well and fills well, you can use it all by itself. If you're looking for really fast paint correction that you're not waiting and spending all day or multiple days to, to end up with a fantastic finish, Hit it with the Dr. Jekyll, smack it with the Mr. Hyde, put the Fast Five ceramic coating goodness all up on it, and that's it. You can get, and I, it's because I know, this because I have done it, and do it, and will do it again, and again, and again. I could do a complete paint correction. So, Dr. Jekyll then Mr. Hyde, then complete EMC Pro Fast 5 Ceramic on this entire El Camino. I could do this entire El Camino from start to finish in three hours. Three. One, two, three. Three. What is the value, though, on that service? What does it cost for your elite paint correction specialist guys, your all pro, like, oh, I'm the best ever guys, those guys, what's it take, what does it cost them to do a, a paint correction? 1500 2000 2500 who knows? I can get this done in three hours, and I charge, you ready? $800. On a regular size car like this, I can char. I can spend three hours doing what I do and charge eight hundred dollars. I could charge more because you're getting fantastic results. You're getting real correction, and then what? What material you don't want to just continue to chop off your car? You can fill it in with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, then you further fill with the Fast Five ceramic and you're protecting. As long as that ceramic coating is on the surface of your car, and it could be indefinite if you use Infinite Insanity or the ceramic acrylics, um, the blend additive that we have modified for spray coating that's on promo at detailjuice.com, you could use that to maintain it and it will last indefinitely. Which means as long as that protection is on top of the, the, the fillers that are there, your paint correction will last indefinitely. You cannot say that for traditional paint correction. You cannot. No fillers equals your mowing down precious clear coat that you need because you can never get it back once it's gone. You can never get that clear coat back unless your car is resprayed. And nobody wants to do that. Good God, everybody is so intimidated by spraying things. Um, it is what it is. Um, you saw the results. This is the best way, in my opinion, to correct a vehicle. Because it gives you that 80% true paint correction. That other 20% is the Mr. Hyde polish filling curing in the scratches and then that ceramic doing the protective job right on top it's awesome it is truly revolutionary and awesome bottom line is this stuff is serious uh the other thing is no dust from the polishes they just don't they work really well you need 30 minutes between the time that you finished polishing with Mr. Hyde to the time you can apply the EMC Pro Fast 5 Ceramic. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, so this has been yet another demo of the Mr. Hyde polish. Um, in about 10 more minutes, we could just ceramic coat on top of this. I actually got a, I want to finish, I'm going to do the entire system to my El Camino because that is truly the best way to paint correct, in my opinion, is to get 80% knocked out and then the rest, leave it there. Goodness, just leave your clear coat alone and uh, 
put the coating on, it will look awesome, it'll be protection, protected, it'll be glossier than ever, and um, people at your car shows, they're gonna love it. Anyway, thanks for watching, 813-846-4406 is my cell, if you need me, let me know. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, it's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I got going on. Stay tuned for the Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday sale, that would be 2023. Uh, that's Thanksgiving Day through the following Monday. I do all kinds of buy tiers for that sale. You can check out all the information in my group on Facebook. I will also, also be posting it on Facebook on my regular page on Instagram. And I'll do another video on exactly what all the buy tiers are for the sale. This is the second big, biggest sale. This is the second biggest sale of the year. The first biggest is the spring kickoff sale. And this one is going to be amazing. So let me know if you need me. If you got questions, let me know. The Dr. Jekyll compound, the Mr. Hyde polish, and the Fast Five ceramic will be on the site for purchase for the sale and will also be a part of the buy tiers. You'll also be able to get that ceramic acrylics blend additive uh, modified for spray coating. It's amazing and it's stronger than Infinite Insanity, just so you know. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to continue to keep it on the site. In fact, I'm probably going to pull it because Infinite Insanity is strong enough and we don't need all the redundancy. So, if you want it, it's available. Check it out at DetailJuice.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.